Okay, here I am with my uh, spreadsheet open, uh, which is Marita Loan Part Two, Number Two spreadsheet. Uh, excuse me, I've, I've just appended demo because I've, I've just renamed my file so I, I can tell the difference between the originals and, and the copy. So I'm going to be using this demo uh, spreadsheet. Uh, you can see here uh, it, it's got the dashboard tag, which we've already skipped the first part of the exercise, which is about validation and so forth. But I'll actually go back and actually do the validation uh, exercise again here. Right? Um, so uh, here, here we go. Right? The first thing um, is to actually clean this spreadsheet up a little bit. And what I'll do is, by cleaning it, I'll um, I'll actually <coughs> change it to to a little bit more professional looking and you notice uh, we've got the tabs here in some organizations you might have like 40 50 tabs along here um, and it's a good idea to, to group them with um, what functionality is and then color code them which is useful for uh, people that are using the spreadsheet after you right? uh, usually you would have things like uh, summary sheets you know uh, like a like here here we have a dashboard uh, it wouldn't leave it grey. I would actually, you notice here the the reference sheet, which is our data, is left grey, and the dashboard. So the next user that comes along, uh, there's no quick indication of, of what are these the sheets, or what what are they used for. So it's a good idea to uh, have reference data, things that uh, is things, or I shouldn't say things, but values and parameters which are referenced in other sheets within formulas um, these guys here you can you can see uh, are actually items that can be modified on the fly and then um, the other sheets will update correspond corresponding to your updates here so this sheet here is pure data which means uh, users can update and change modify items but if you have a look at the sheet it looks a little bit messy so if I gave, gave this to uh, let's say my secretary uh, she, she would be immediately a little confused because she's thinking, oh, what's what's all this, right? Um, you, you can't distinguish between headers and data and so forth, and you can't see um, exactly where is the you know limitation of what, what particular data is grouped by what. So um, you, it, it's a good idea to actually highlight your headings and your data and then group them by just simply doing something like this. So I'll, I'll do... Um, let's say here. Uh, actually, let's do this one first. And I'm assuming here because it hasn't been grouped, but I'm assuming this is the header for this particular data. So I can click in here, actually change change the coloring, and I'll try to stick with the same coloring that they've used within um, within the rest of the spreadsheet. So there's my heading, and it's a good idea to just give it a border, right? So you highlight this is a heading. Um, and if I go along here, I'm assuming that all the way to the per, uh, personal uh, is also data. So I would put a border around that. And now immediately when I look at this, uh, you can see, OK, that's a heading. And this must be the corresponding data to this heading. Right? Uh, you can do other things like you know, highlight here and just make it slightly, slightly lighter color. Right? So it actually highlights even more uh, predominantly saying, OK, heading and there's the data. So now if I um, if I do the same thing for my other headings, I can just copy the format and I'll do like this. Um, I should probably get rid of the uh, the the, mi the middle, sorry, and get rid of all borders there, and just highlight the entire. So so I I really don't want to see lines in the middle of my data, right? So here I'll just do a grouping, and I'll do the same here, which is most likely, <coughs> most likely the same, the same as here. Uh, what I've done is I've highlighted the the column headings and the corresponding data which groups for this table. Right? So here I've changed the color. So now it's a little bit more pro predominant. Right? Um, <coughs> I'll do the same thing, same thing in this case. So I've got two headings. So I'll copy that format and I'll go here, right? and I'll do the same thing. Copy that format down to here. Oop, I only took the two. Oop, get rid of that. Get rid of borders. Now what I'm going to do is highlight the entire bit and do the borders. So it looks looks a bit neater and more presentable. Right? Um, 
uh, same as the commission here uh, for the bank rates. A bit confusing looking at looking at that uh, as in that format. So what I'll, I'll do is copy that format again. So it's two two cells and it'll be border dark dark color. Uh, this guy I change that to border and I'll change background green and so forth. And you can see here I'm, I'm slowly building up um, or changing the the layout of this data sheet so it's a bit more usable. Right? So here I'll do this a big border color. Um, where are we? Mind you, uh, you lose all this formatting if you go to uh, the third spreadsheet. So be be mindful. And you notice here now we've been consistently going down like on a vertical fashion. Now all of a sudden we're on a, on a horizontal. Right? So it would have been a good idea to shift this parameter O uh, for O1 to actually be underneath, so it can, so it's consistent formatting, it doesn't confuse users. So let's go, you know, I'll just copy this format, it's a single cell, copy that, and I'll go to fees, and here I want a border with the light colour. Okay, should have changed it, but it doesn't matter. Now I've got some data here which is sort of floating in the middle of nowhere, and I have absolutely no idea what that data is used for, right? So I'm, I'm not going to uh, touch this, I'll just leave it <coughs> unhighlighted. And the same thing here, you've got two headings, but there is no data or so, so I, I'm really confusing headings, so I'm not going to touch those either. And the last one, which is the, um, which was actually the exercise for the first, first portion of, um, which I'll do in the next, next video. Uh, this here is is basically regions and so forth. But I'll, I'll assume the highlighting will be done in the next uh, you know, just in your storyline. So now, as soon as you get to this sheet, you can see immediately. Oh, these are the groupings of data that I'll be using. Right? Now it's a good idea to change the color of your data sheets, which means give people a warning. So you would create red red sheets for saying, "Hey, be careful." Right. Uh, obviously, in nature, red means danger. So, um, uh, red uh, sheets would be data that uh, is critical for the rest of the um, uh, rest of the spreadsheet. So, in that case, uh, here these three, I'll just do a control click, select all three. I would change these to a different color, like uh, green or something or other, to actually say, hey. Um, uh, Green would imply I've got calculations or some kind of summary data which, re which references the, the, the reference data. Right? So I've highlighted that. Uh, obviously you don't have to do what I'm doing here, but um, uh, it's good practice to actually let people know. So you would, you would uh, if I gave this to my secretary, she would know immediately, oh the green ones, he's been doing some calculations in, in those green sheets, so I better be careful of formulas and so forth. And obviously the last one, which is a summary sheet, um, generally make it a you know like a dark darker color blue or so, right? So that now what we've got is blue blue uh, summary sheets, which asset the data within the formula sheets, and then the data sheet, which is critical um, critical data, which can be modified in the previous sheets, right? Now uh, just a little bit of added added info. Uh, if you see now that we've got uh, regions here. Uh, that that have got contained data, we could effectively immediately start naming these regions and giving them a range name so that we can use it in formulas later, rather than thinking oh a one d five dollar dollar all that rubbish. Um, now would be the you know the great a great time to actually just list it and say give it a name here, say um, uh, client loan categories, right? Uh, preferred customer or bank <coughs> bank um, lates from referrals, something like that. So you give them labels which actually mean something uh, later on in our calculations. But we're not going to do that in this case. We'll, we'll do it afterwards. And I hope that helped. I'll just do one more thing uh, here. And what I what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll actually I'll, I'll do it in the next video. I'll be deleting this co this column so that we can actually do the first exercise from scratch, right? Okay. All right, see you in the next video.